Hello, I'm Ian Matthew, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk Plant Solutions. AutoCAD Plant 3D 2012 introduces new AutoCAD isometrics. In this video we're going to quickly create some isometric drawings and then we'll show you how to configure your ISOs in project setup. Here we have a model with line 1599 selected. You can create a quick ISO based on a drawing selection but when you create quick ISO drawings they're not added to the project so instead we're going to create a production isometric. In the isometric DWG tab of project setup for the ISO style check A2 we select the line number 1599 and then create a production ISO. After we click the create button in the status bar we can see that the isometric drawing is being created in the background. You can continue your work on other things while this ISO is processed. When complete, you'll get the notification bubble, and you can click to see the results. There were no errors, and as you can see that we created three sheets for this line 1599. We can click on any of the links which opens that particular ISO. Isometric drawings are 2D drawings, but they're used to provide a pictorial representation of the 3D pipeline in a single view as compared to orthos where objects can be displayed multiple times in multiple views. ISOs are not drawn to scale. Valves and nozzles are symbolic, not realistic. They do however contain precise locations and dimensions and a parts list. You can use ISOs for fabrication and for things like stress analysis. Pipelines are frequently broken up into multiple sheets. How many depends on the size of the drawing area in the title block and and how congested or densely populated you allow your isometric to be. Here we see that we've continued on Sheets 2 and Sheets 3. We will show you how to configure the Bill of Materials list and the ISO title block later in this video. But first, I want to show you some things that we can add to the model that control and provide detail to the isometrics. So let's close the ISOs and get back to the model. Let's zoom in on this valve assembly to specify a field weld, which will break the piping spool. To display a weld dot in the model, we need to switch to wireframe view and turn on the weld display in the ribbon. Regen or Regen 3 displays the dot. Welds are sub-objects of a connector, so selecting them can be tricky. Here we use the selection cycling but you can also press control when you click to select the weld dot. Use the properties panel to set the weld type to field. Next we'll add an ISO message to the model. Switch to the ISOs ribbon and click ISO message. Enter the paint code number 157 and snap to replace the ISO marker in the pipe. This will annotate the line in the isometric drawing to that location. Again, welds and ISO markers are not the easiest to select, but you can double-click the marker to view or change the message. Let's turn off wireframe and run a production ISO again for our line to see the changes. Here I did not specify to overwrite existing ISOs, so new ISOs are created with a name that is slightly different from the ones you've already created. Once the ISO completes, we can open up the Sheet 1, zoom in, and we see our field weld and the new paint code message. The only thing we added to the model was a message but we can also add floor markers, flow direction arrows, and locate spool breaks in the model. So far in this video we've added ISO information to the model and created some ISOs. Now it's time to take a look at ISO configuration where we will modify the title block and the parts list. From the project manager let's load the project setup and we'll select the isometric DWG settings page. On the ISO style setup page, we can create new ISO styles. Each ISO style includes settings that control the way the isometric drawings are created. 
On this page we can change the way our drawings are named or specify that we want each spool on a separate sheet. ISO styles can be shared with other projects that have matching units. Simply copy the ISO style files directory to another project. On the annotations page we have a lot of control of our text and callouts. Just an example, here's an ISO with weld annotations off and now with weld annotations on. I've also changed valves to dimension end-to-end -end instead of center which we can set on the dimensions page. For sloped and offset piping we can specify how we want to annotate sloping and dimension offsets and turns that are not 90 degrees. The last page is title block and display. Each ISO style has its own title block. We're going to modify these now in the title block setup. The large green area here is the draw area. It specifies where the ISO objects can be created. In title block setup it's represented by a hatch that you can edit. The red areas are the no-draw areas where you can exclude ISO objects. For example, on the lower right, we do not want piping to overlap the title block. To demonstrate, I'll add a no-drawing area to the upper right. You can display ISO areas as a perimeter instead of a hatch. In the ribbon, turn off area visibility to draw the perimeter. But to edit areas, they need to be displayed, so let's turn visibility back on and remove the new no-draw no area. The blue area to the right is the table area, where we place table parts. Right now, the only parts list we have is the bill of materials. We can use table setup in the ribbon to modify a parts list. The table type is a bill of materials, and we currently have a simple bill of materials, but we can set our bomb to group parts by category and then right click to change the order of the categories. We can also specify which columns should display for a given category if we set to group with independent columns. Let's switch back to the simple bill of materials and add a column. And from the properties list we can select the item code. For a simple bill of materials, you can turn columns on and off in the first row of the table. Now let's close the dialog and see that the item code column is added to the table. Let's add some additional lists to the table area. In the ribbon, click Cut Piece and select the blue hatch. Type A to add to the current table and the Cut Piece table is added. Next, let's add a weld list and a spool list. These are AutoCAD tables, so you can edit them to set properties such as textiles. OK, now we've done with the table areas, let's take a look at the title block area itself. Attributes in the title block are regular AutoCAD attributes, but their values can be provided automatically with the ISO as it's created. Let's add a new attribute to the title block. In the ribbon, click the title block attributes, select the service property, and select place. We'll use a transparent zoom and locate the attributes in the title block. You can also create your own attributes because this is just a regular AutoCAD block. You can modify it in the block editor or replace it completely. So let's close the block editor and save the new attribute to the title block. Now the last thing we'll do in the title block setup is to take a quick look at ISO themes. Within an ISO style, a theme is used to set the appearance of an ISO, especially with regard to AutoCAD layers, AutoCAD text styles, and AutoCAD dimension styles. The override theme allows you to change the appearance of certain types of objects, such as the layer for continuation objects or the display of small bore piping. OK, so let's close the title block setup and save our changes. And then we can close project setup.
and then back in the isometric tab of project manager we'll select line 1599 let's create a production ISO and this time we'll overwrite the existing DWGs when the ISO is complete we'll open up the first sheet and we can see the new parts list that we've added to the table area so here are the new tables as we can see And that completes this video where we've created and configured isometric drawings. The sample model and procedures used in this video are based in the Autodesk Plant Courseware Introduction to Plant Design. To learn more about this, you can contact your AutoCAD Plant 3D reseller. Thank you for watching.